Welcome back, this is Dave Vellante, and we're here at the EBC of EMC SAP Week, and we're here with Dominic Uliano, who's with SAP, to bring that angle. This is SiliconAngle.tv's The Cube, our continuous coverage. We go to events, we extract the signal from the noise. Dominic, welcome to The Cube. Thank you very much, glad to be here. Yeah, appreciate you coming on. So talk first about this event. What's SAP's role here? What, what's your role here? Well, SAP in general sees ourselves in a support role with EMC and VMware and VCE. Um, Really, my role is to help uh, work with the customers, meet one-on-one, -on -one, help deliver some keynote presentations. It's been a great experience. So, um, talk about what's going on at, at SAP. You guys are obviously doing great. The, 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 the dual CEO thing is working beautifully. You know, your stock's up, customers are happy. It's just things are going really great for SAP. Talk about that a little bit. You know, it's really all about innovation with us. Um, innovating with some new products, innovating with our partners, helping our customers innovate, and it's all coming down to really great results at the end of the day. So SAP, um, there's no secret, right? SAP's big, it's complex uh, f from an installation standpoint. Uh, a lot of people have spent a lot of time and effort getting it to work, and now you see virtualization come into the fold, and things are getting simpler. Talk about how your customers are transforming, why they're driving you to simplify, from an infrastructure standpoint, um, that component of their business. Yeah, so simplification is a great, a great aspect of it. Um, our customers are asking us point blank, make SAP cheaper to run, our on-premise, and make us more agile and more flexible so we can be more responsive to the business. A, a very good aspect of this is the simplification of the landscape as well. So the customers are the ones that are driving it. And of course, SAP can't do this on their own, which is why we've partnered with VMware and EMC and VCE uh, to help get our, our customers adopted into the new virtual landscapes on x86 using VMware. And really, our customers are experiencing great benefits, great TCO, great simplification, and, and great agility. Can you give some color, add some color to, to great? Can you quantify that in any way or you know, provide any other proof points? Yeah, so typically, uh, 75 to 80% of the, of the overall cost of running SAP year to year uh, is operational expenses. So we've seen anywhere between a 14 to 25% reduction in operating costs in just the first year alone by going to a virtualized converged infrastructure type environment. And, and how about in, in terms of, uh, again, I've talked about a lot today, but, but early on, I mean, we mentioned off camera, this is be our fourth year being at uh, Sapphire with theCUBE. In the first year we were talking about virtualization, we had some CIOs on and they were like, mm, my head of application development doesn't really want to do it, but now the stories are more We've done it, we bit the bullet, we went. Actually, it's performing better than our old environment or at least comparably to our own environment, but the big thing is speed to deployment. Can you talk about that a little bit and maybe even help quantify that? Sure, so typically in a traditional environment, deploying SAP using conventional SAP tools took a matter of weeks. Whether you're copying a system, whether you were installing a new system, uh, from the time you got the hardware to got it set up to installing SAP took a matter of weeks. The virtualization environment is the enablement layer now that uh, with some automation and orchestration type capabilities from say vCloud Director or LVM, um, we're talking about deploying SAP systems in a matter of hours now. So that the project team can actually uh, do more rapid testing, more agile testing, they can follow an agile project methodology which is much different than the ASAP methodology. So that's really what's helping customers deploy much faster um, and really satisfy their team's business requirements. How about the cloud dynamic? Let's talk about that a little bit. A lot of people want to use the public cloud uh, to do test and dev, uh, maybe spin up you know, virtual machines, r run an SAP instance on, maybe run a HANA instance on that. How, what role is the cloud playing uh, in the SAP customer base? So cloud is one of our strategies. You know, We've got four pillars at SAP, uh, IAS, SAS, PAS, and of course the Ariba network. So when you look at a cloud, our cloud strategy has a, a multifaceted approach. Um, you know, from an infrastructure side, we see customers doing that. Um, so it is driving, but most of the North American customers are still not quite comfortable with the cloud for their production systems and even some of their, their critical QA and test systems. So they're still right now moving very aggressively to a virtualized private cloud environment and probably cloud down the road will be something they consider. So what's their concern? Well, concern is, you know, a lot of it could be FUD, but uh, there's also some things where they want to have better control of their resources. They want to 
They don't trust the security. There have been some outages that have been publicized, you know, uh, with some of the cloud vendors. So it's those types of things. It's just overall comfort level. The second thing is organizationally, our, our customers are not quite ready. Um, with converged infrastructure, you'll see that their roles change with the, the resources. So their technical teams are no longer siloed. With the cloud, it changes even more. So they're just not ready. Let's talk about virtual private cloud. It's more than just virtualization. Uh, but what makes, let's dig into it a little bit. What makes the private cloud cloud? So really it comes down to the ability to provision. It comes down to the ability to manage capacity and the ability to be elastic. SAP normally, when we size it, we size it for peak loads. That, that really, unfortunately, is a, is a paradigm that doesn't allow you to use your hardware most effectively in a traditional environment. In a cloud environment, we now can release those resources when we don't need them and use them somewhere else in the infrastructure. So we get this elastic. The second thing is cloud architectures or private cloud architectures are really meant uh, with provisioning in mind, rapid provisioning. So to provision a server, it's a matter of minutes. To provision storage, it's a matter of seconds. To provision an SAP system on top of that, as you would serve up any application, it could be a matter of hours. That's where you see the advantage of moving to a, a private cloud infrastructure. So what's, what's SAP's uh, point of view? I mean, you guys are generally hardware agnostic. I mean, you work with all the, all the hardware players. You're obviously here at EMC, and you've talked about VCE as partners and VMware, infrastructure players. Uh, but, but generally, you know, SAP, if anybody wants to run on anybody's hardware, you're, you're going to applaud that, you know, clearly. But talk specifically about things like, uh, you've got a big install base of Unix. Um, you're seeing x86, HANA runs on x86. Is that a major initiative within SAP? Are you guys more you know, hands off on that? Or are you really trying to get that migration going? So really it's around our, what our customers are asking us to help them with. So customers are, a lot of our customers are in the middle of a technology refresh or a data center consolidation. They're starting to ask the question, can I, can I run this more cheaply and be more agile? SAP is there to help. So SAP is not driving customers to any particular platform, but we are reacting to our customer base. In addition, we know we can't do it on our own, which is why we've partnered with the market leader in virtualization on x86, which is VMware. So it's really not SAP driving, it's us reacting to the market. So let's talk about HANA a little bit. I mean, it's the hot topic. You can't go to a, 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 an SAP conference. Um, you hear Hasso and, and, and Vishal up talking about it. It's a fascinating topic in memory. Of course, in-memory databases have been around since there's, there's, there's been memory. Uh, but now the costs are coming down where it's getting much more interesting. Talk a little bit about HANA, talk about the uptake, talk about you know, what it means in this whole ecosystem. So HANA was designed to run on x86, commodity hardware essentially. It was designed to be a more scale out. And really, it takes advantage of the, the new capabilities at the x86 level. So what it's doing is it's transforming businesses. We have customers that'll, that run MRP runs. They take eight to 10 to 12 hours to run. They're seeing HANA being able to run this in a matter of minutes or perhaps seconds. That changes entire business processes. No longer are they waiting for a batch job to finish. They can do more dynamic planning, more dynamic analytics. That's changing their business model. They're becoming much more uh, proactive and being able to react much quickly to their changing environment. So we're talking big, fast data here. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Um, What's the role of the ecosystem here? I mean, what's EMC doing there with, with regard to HANA, other, other partners? Or what role do they play? Well, they're key because, uh, you know, obviously we're an applications company, we're a software company, and without, uh, you know, key participation from EMC, um, we, we, they're in our co-innovation labs, VCE's in our co-innovation lab, VMware's in our co-innovation lab. Without those folks helping us innovate around HANA, uh, we probably wouldn't be near where, where we are today. All right, so flip side of that is, is what could they do better? What could EMC, you know, VCE, VMware do better to make your customers' lives easier? Oh, it's a good question. Um, you know, I think, I think um, helping with a unified set of solutions, as we're starting to do now, uh, unified consulting, um, I think those are the things that really help our customers. Our customers don't want to see separation between infrastructure providers and SAP. They want to see one face of the customer, one approach, one set of best practices. A more cogent sort of go-to-market and Absolutely. service model. Sure. Dominic, listen, thanks very much hey, for coming on theCUBE. Thanks for really uh, here. Pleasure, to, uh, pleasure meeting you. Uh, keep it right there, everybody. We're here at EMC EBC. We'll be right back. This is Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE.